Let's just show you how we can increase efficiency, decrease downtime, all while saving you money. Hello, my name's Lewis from Rhinox Group. I'm part of the dealer sales team. I have nine years in the industry and my role is to help equipment dealers select the best buckets and attachments for their customers. Hello, my name is Will and I'm the sales director here at Rhinox Group. My role is to help the sales team deliver the best products and services for the industry. In this video, we will be discussing the Rhinox manual quick itch, how it works, why you may or may not purchase one, and hopefully answer some of your key questions. Well Lewis, can you tell me a little bit about this quick itch and some of the key features that make it up? Yeah, sure. Um, quick itch is essentially a device that um, means you can rapidly change your attachment or bucket Excellent. on your excavator. Great, can you tell me a little bit about some of the key features like the latch and the, how, what it's made of? Well, the Rhinox Quick Itch has been designed with the end user in mind um, to maximise efficiency. So we've got, on the hook here, is made of hardened steel, which, for durability. We've got a high-vis cast, fully greasable latch, which gives the user visibility when the attachment or bucket is on the hitch. Brilliant. So this safety pin here and, and this Lynch pin on the wire, what's, how does that work? Well, that's a captive safety pin, which means it can't be lost on site. Brilliant. So that stop means that they can't open without without that being removed? Exactly. Brilliant. And so does a quick itch always come with a set of pins to hold it on? The Rhinox quick itch comes with a set of greasable pins, a full set of shims, and this quick itch bar with its holder Brilliant. to keep it locked in place. That's excellent. So this documentation here, what's that for? Well, this quick itch comes with this certificate here, mm -hmm. which it means it's fully CE marked, a uh, operating manual and the quick guide to fit a quick itch, which will be stuck to the arm of your machine. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for your help on that. That's really interesting. So, Will, could you... Um, go over a couple of the key benefits of the Rhinox Quick Itch? Absolutely. The key benefit is actually in its name. It is a quick coupler. Um, as you can imagine, if you're a landscape gardener in an environment where you're needing to change your attachments multiple times, as we've looked into, we found that it's about 20 to 30 times in a day on average. It can take a very, a very time consuming task to knock the pins out of your attachment and then remove your dipper arm round and attach on and knock pins back in, um, whereas the Rhinox quick coupler, you can use the handle to crank the latch open, disengage the attachment and then move round, open the latch again and reattach considerably quicker. Um, as you can imagine, that means that you can be more quicker and efficient in the tasks and use the correct attachment that you really should be using rather than trying to use one attachment for multiple tasks, which is very inefficient as you can imagine. That's excellent. The um, driving the pins in and out, does that actually damage any part of the machine? Or Yeah, as you can imagine, if you're doing something 20, 30 times in a day, the bucket links and the way they're set up are actually reasonably delicate. And so over a period of time, these wear out and can cost you know, a large amount of money to be replaced multiple times, as well as being more inefficient. That's very useful, thank you. Well, could you tell me about some of the reasons why you may not want to actually fit in a quick coupler to your excavator. Yes, uh, one of the challenges is breakout force. Breakout force, can you explain to me what that actually means? Well, breakout force is the amount of power exerted through the attachment to the tip of the bucket or attachment on the machine. Okay, so why would that hitch actually reduce that? Uh, well, essentially the quick hitch is adding slightly extra length onto the dipper arm, which would reduce the amount of breakout force through into the ground. Okay, but would you still consider putting one on anyway? Absolutely. The benefits of the Rhinox Quick Itch would outweigh the loss on breakout force in this case. Interesting. 
but it also looks quite a large piece of steel on some of the smaller excavators could that have an effect yes this is some of the questions we get asked by customers mm -hmm. and while it is slightly heavier um, on some of the smaller machines it does need to be considered this quick hitch is around 20 kilos mm -hmm. um, going up to 30 kilograms for the three ton range okay so again you would probably still consider putting one on even though there was some additional weight in most circumstances absolutely that's really interesting thanks for your help so well could you tell me how to use a quick hitch that's a good question and that's actually fully set out on this quick hitch operation guide that you'd normally have fitted inside the cab of the excavator it goes through a series of steps Step one is to disengage the safety pin and then pick up the attachment by locating the pin in the front hook. And then you lift the arm up clear of the ground. Then you move on to stage two, which is crowd the attachment in, engage the back bucket pin with the latch, insert the quick hitch lever bar and push down. That moves us on to stage three. With the lever bar pushed down, the attachment will swing into the rear hook release pressure on the lever and the latch will engage on the back pin. That moves us on to stage four where you reinsert the safety pin and secure using the linch pin. Crowd the attachment out and ensure that it is securely fixed to the hitch before use, which is stage five by pressing the leading edge of the attachment against the floor and apply pressure to ensure the latch is secure before operation. To remove the attachment, you essentially go through this process in reverse. Well Lewis, how much would a Rhinox Quick Coupler actually cost me if I wanted to purchase one? Well this Rhinox quick coupler at time of filming yeah. is £495 or 960 US dollars. Brilliant, and what would help me justify my decision to go ahead and purchase a quick coupler? Well, in comparison when not using a quick hitch, driving the pins in and out of the bucket link and tipping links accelerates the wear and may damage them. These typically cost around 50% of the price of the quick hitch. That's interesting because market feedback tells us that if you don't have a quick coupler attached, you can actually replace the tipping, you'd need to replace the tipping links and bucket links probably two to three times of the lifetime of a Rhinox quick coupler. Well, Lewis, where would I actually purchase a Rhinox quick coupler from if I wanted to go ahead and get one for myself? Well, these are available on our websites and from dealerships throughout the UK. Thanks for watching. If you'd like a more in-depth guide on how to fit a quick coupler, please watch this video here and we'd love it if you'd follow us on our other social media channels down below to keep up to date. Like me, Liz. Yep. <laughs> I'm just conscious of my breath. <laughs>